Hello dear friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Chemistry Aspirant. Now in today's lecture, we are going to learn about the linear combination of atomic orbital or generally it is also known as an formation of molecular orbitals. So in the previous lecture, we already learned about the introduction and the postulates of the molecular orbital theory. So there we have studied the different postulate in which we know that the molecular orbitals are formed from the atomic orbitals which having the same energy and a proper symmetry. So in this topic we will going to learn about how exactly these molecular orbitals are formed and how these two types of molecular orbital that is bonding molecular orbital and anti bonding molecular orbitals are formed during the formation of molecule. So, let us start with this video. We know that the electron present in the atomic orbital have a dual nature. It can act as a particle as well as it can act as a wave. So, for the formation of your molecular orbital that is the linear combination of your atomic orbital involves the wave nature of electron present in your atomic orbital. So, according to the quantum mechanics, the electron moving in the atom is in the form of a wave which is mathematically represented by the function psi. Now, let us consider the two atom A and B which is coming close to one another having the atomic orbital as an psi A and psi B and this atomic orbital having same energy and a proper symmetry they overlap to form the molecular orbital. Now we know that when the atomic orbital with the same energy and proper symmetry or combined they form the two types of molecular orbital and that two type of molecular orbital are bonding molecular orbital and anti bonding molecular orbital. So now let us know in detail how exactly these bonding molecular orbital and anti bonding molecular orbitals are formed by the linear combination of this atomic orbital. Let us know about the bonding molecular orbital by the linear combination of your atomic orbital. Generally, the wave function of bonding molecular orbital is mathematically given as psi b equals to psi a plus psi b, where psi b is actually the bonding molecular orbital. It is actually the combination or the addition of two wave function of a two electrons of a combining atom A and B. Again we know that the wave have crust and trough. So during the formation of bonding molecular orbital, the crust of a one wave combined with the crust of a another wave of a two combining atom, hence the resulting amplitude get increased and this leads to the formation of your bonding molecular orbital that I have shown here. So here you can observe that the both wave function of the electrons of a atomic orbital psi a and psi b are actually in the same phase that means crest can combine with the crest of a another wave while the trough can combine with the trough of a another wave. So the resulting amplitude get increases which we considered it as an positive and the wave are in a phase which is called as a constructive interference in the quantum mechanics. So generally the bonding molecular orbitals are formed by the constructive interference of a two combining waves of a electron of the two different atoms. So here you can observe that when they combine they, they give rise to the larger molecular orbital which is having a lower energy and the greater stability which is called as a bonding molecular orbital. So this is actually the linear combination of the atomic orbital for the formation of your molecular orbital that I have shown here. In such bonding molecular orbital, the electron density is present in between the two nucleus of the combining atom while there is a very less electron density at the corner of this two combining atom that I have shown here. It means the electron is under the influence of a two nuclei of a combining atom that we already considered in the postulates of your molecular orbital theory. 
so this is the simple explanation for the formation of your bonding molecular orbital so here addition of a two wave function of a two combining atom forms the bonding molecular orbital with a lower energy and a greater stability now about the second type of the molecular orbital which is known as an anti bonding molecular orbital so according to the quantum mechanics wave function of a anti bonding molecular orbital is mathematically given as an psi a equals to psi a minus psi b where psi a is the wave function of anti bonding molecular orbital while psi a is a wave function of a electron of a a atom and the psi b is a wave function of a atom b so it is actually the subtraction of wave function of, a, of two electrons of an combining atom a and b so here the crest of a one wave combined with a trough of a another wave which results into decrease in the amplitude of a waves of a two combining atoms so here you can observe that the wave function positive combined with the wave function negative of a another atom so here the two wave functions are different hence the formation of anti bonding molecular orbital takes place out of phase which is actually the destructive interference of a two wave leads to the formation of your anti bonding molecular orbital which have a larger energy and a less stability and when this wave combine they give rise to the smaller wave or anti bonding molecular orbital with a greater energy and a less stability in such anti bonding molecular orbital the electron density between these two combining atom is a negligible or it is a nil one while the electron density is present at the corner or it is present at the corner of this combining atom so the electrons are not attracted by the two nuclei and hence the energy of this anti bonding molecular orbital is higher than this parent's atomic orbital so this is actually the formation of bonding molecular orbital and the anti bonding molecular orbital according to the linear combination of atomic orbitals by considering the wave mechanical treatment to the atomic orbitals and the electron that are revolving in that atomic orbitals so thank you so much for watching this video see you in my next video